Ryan. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. This is a funny card. I, I'll read it, and you can go from there. Be impeccable with your word. Become a white magician. But where do you hear this card? <laughs> All the magic you possess is based on your word. And you can cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word or you can release someone from a spell. I don't quite get this one, man. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 18, NASDAQ off 115, S&P's down 14. Gold, gold contract down a buck 80, trading at 1945 an ounce. We have silver down 47 cents, 22 dollars 97 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 42, trading out at 72 dollars 61 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note flat, 113.10. The 30-year up four ticks at 128.06 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 468 ticks, trading at 102.073. The euro is at 109. The yen is at trading at 141. The British pound is at 127 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, we're going to start with the E-mini because I'm going to show you with the E-mini here that it, the spreads, now we're in summer trading, and compared to what we've been used to, folks, the volatility has slowed down dramatically, Okay. And you can see, you know, when I did the update, there's no doubt we, I got the bar that, you know, basically I was looking for because what's happening, and we got an expansion of volume on this bar, because if you're watching Target TV, you're going to see we have a high volume low in the S&P. That 4403 is a high volume low. That's the first part. Second part, when we got up into the uh, 4438, bottom line is that that was coming against... Volume on the other side, uh, what was that, 30,000? I think we did 12. We did 27 against 30. So, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. It, it just got inside the lower range. Because once you're back inside of, let's see, 44.21, we're just here. Uh, under 44.21, our probability gets higher that, yeah, we're going to get down there. Right now, it's teetering there. It got into the 44.18. You know, I suspect it's going to have to build a little bit cause here. But... You can see this expansion of volume just on this bar. This bar, it's okay, so it just finished and it had 27,000 contracts on the way down. So, and on the way up, which was a little sound straight, was still only 24,000. So that sets up that it doesn't want to get hit. Now, that being said, the NQs don't have the same. Well, here, now let's do the spy. So that's the daily, okay? Uh, intraday, rather. When we look at the daily, this is, uh, you know, there's not sellers out here, man. Yesterday, you know, bottom line is that we came back. We pulled back with uh, 76 million shares. You get 50 million today. You know, bottom line is that you're coming into 95 million. So this is uh, basically a vanilla type of pullback after something that's been up that high. Um, you know, we'll see where this thing wants to go, but there's no sellers right now. The NDX 100. We take a look at the NQs. So let's just go over to the Qs first. We take a look at the Qs, and we have with the Qs, same type of setup. Yesterday, you came down with 49 million. Today, you're at 42. That's coming into 57. So we'll see how this shakes out. Now, what does happen is this. This is where this gets intriguing. When you, this is like an inverted, like a horseshoe, but it's inverted. And what I have found with inverted horseshoes, right, is that it's going to be like tomorrow, uh, is going to be, a, well, we'll find out what's going to be a big day. But if, if a market does want to go lower, this is where it would basically have a much longer bar. That when, you, when, it's, when you look at the aspect of how these horseshoes work, um, right when you, you know, right at the, we're right where the longer part of it comes out. And if, in fact, there's going to be a sell-off, that's where you'd get it. So if we got the same type of trading, as we get out here today, that's just saying that 
guess what? You got a slight pullback. You're going to go to higher price. We go to the gold contract. Gold contract right now has an ABC structure down inside an ABC structure down. So your probability that you're going to get to lower price is pretty high. We got down to 1929 today. It did reject lower price at 1929. Uh, that being said, it hasn't got above the B point again of the second ABC down. The second ABC down, the B point is 1949. This ABC structure down here sets up an 1875 number, and a lot of the swing low on this contract is 1846. So you'd still be coming into approximately, so it's 1902 and 1875. So the live, the live date here is March 10th. If you're basically looking at your, your, you know, your stocks, March 10th, March 13th, uh, the days you're going you're to want to watch. Notes and bonds. Notes and bonds, regardless of what the Fed wants to do out here, they continue to want higher price, lower yield. What we had out here today, you rejected 112.27. You're at 113.09. Bottom line, we'll see how this shakes out. We've been here for four or five days right now, but my take is this thing's going to go right back topside. And when you're taking a look at the 10-year, the 10-year right now is yielding 3.7. And that brings us over to the dollar. The dollar is really weak, man. You know, that being said, uh, you can see here, let me put this intraday, because if, if the S&P wants to go down and basically test that low, um, what we're going to see, yeah, see, there was, the, there was the, the, can you imagine this? Look at this, folks. The, the dollar hardly moved, and the S&P <laughs> moved, uh, let's see, it moved, I think it moved like eight points. Since I was, it was down, it was, it was down, oh, now it's only down 12. Yeah, it moved a good five points, and the dollar only moved from 102.022 to 102.074. So it's been a one-way move all, all the way down in the dollar today. That is what relieved the market, and the market goes up. So the correlation is a very direct and tight correlation. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrial is down 13. NASDAQ's up 102. S&Ps are up 11. We'll come right back.